Welcome. In front of me is a Motorola Edge 30 Fusion and today I will show you how we can bypass the Google verification on this phone. Now in a second you should be able to see the device is uh, locked apart from well, this tiny little lock right here. But we should have a pattern uh, as a verification method and obviously a Google account. I'll wait for this to show up before I progress any further. But in your case, while you're waiting, or while we both are waiting, you can progress through the setup if you're just like at the language selection page, till you get to the Wi-Fi connection page, choose some kind of Wi-Fi network, connect to it, and then back out again to the language selection. So there we go. So right now you can see that the device is locked and it's telling me to verify it using the previously set up pattern. Or I could press right here and obviously verify it using Google account. But assuming we don't know either of those, we can just kind of get rid of it. So, like I mentioned, connect to Wi-Fi network right over here. I have already done so. And then go back to the first page. Select vision settings. Talk back. Enable it. Now this is actually pretty quiet by default, so that's really nice. Usually it's super annoying and loud, but not in this case. Anyway, once you see this page right over here, you'll see this green outline. This outline will basically always read whatever it's inside of it. And we can disregard this. With TalkBack on right now enabled, you also won't be able to use the screen as you would normally do. So right now by tapping on whatever option, you'll select it first time around and then double tapping on it would confirm it. So anyway, let's get started. In this green outline, this field right here where you have the text, you want to draw a mirrored L. This will bring up a window, allow Android Accessibility Suite to record audio. Double tap on the first option while using the app. Then single tap, use voice commands. And before we double tap on it, I'm going to quickly just describe what we will need to do and the future steps because it is time sensitive. So when you double tap on it, the phone will start listening to you and you want to say open Google Assistant. You will hear a beep, technically that will be the second beep most likely, that accepts your voice command and then another one that uh, Google uh, Google is now listening to and you want to say open YouTube. And obviously another beep to confirm uh, your voice command and then YouTube should open. So hopefully that explained it in a way. Uh, I'm gonna do it right now and you can just watch and listen how it's done. Open Google Assistant. Open YouTube. So there we go. Uh, as you probably heard, or a couple beeps to signify when it's listening, when it's accepting, and again listening. Once it's done, once your YouTube is open, you want to hold volume up and volume down at the same time. Select Turn On. Double tap and then hold those two keys once more. And we can now use the d display normally. So, you wanna click on the account icon now, select settings, about, and then Google privacy policy, accept and continue, and no thanks. This will open up our browser, from which you want to navigate to hard reset that info slash bypass. So if you need a moment to copy this link, do pause the video. Now from here, once you consent to this stupid pop-up, uh, you want to scroll down to settings. And this obviously opens up our settings. So from here, you want to navigate to apps. Then you want to select see all 42 apps. And then also add the three dots and select show system apps. So obviously this will add also the background system applications like Android setup. You want to click on it, select for a stop from here, and OK. Then go back once. And from here, you're going to scroll down to Google Play Services. So just flick down till you get to Google. So right over here. And here you will select Disable, Disable app, and also for a stop. Now that I have disabled the two apps, 
we're gonna go back once again once more and this time around well, actually once more there we go to the main settings page and this time around we're gonna scroll down to accessibility and we're gonna select accessibility menu and you want to simply enable it right over here allow and got it now additionally what i recommend doing right now is pressing volume button and then selecting the complete like mute the reason for this is uh, now that we have disabled the google play services the phone will start spamming us with the notification sound that it can't connect to google play services we don't care so now that the accessibility menu is enabled just start spamming the back button until you get to the beginning of the setup and there we go from here i'm gonna progress through the setup okay so from here select don't copy once it finally loads and this will get us to the next page normally this page would load up for about like what five seconds and then give us the pop-up to verify our google account or pin pattern password whatever the default uh, previous uh, screen lock was but now that we've turned off google play services it's just going to be stuck on here so what we want to do right now is interact with the accessibility menu you want to select assistant this sometimes shows up settings right here so let's try to get it press on it and then select enable which for me was stupidly easy uh, hopefully maybe Motorola is just easier because this is the second time around it was so easy for me normally uh, this page closes off along with the settings disappearing so you just need to keep on repeating this till you manage to actually enable it and if that is the case for you if it automatically closes it up that's normal don't worry and so yeah from personal experience uh, this kind of thing that just happened on the camera right here is not normal for me but anyway once you manage to enable it you're gonna go back once click somewhere on the screen to get rid of the google uh, voiceover so it's not listening to you and as you probably just realized it decided to completely skip the verification process it just went straight to the next page so from here we will finish up the setup by selecting anything that you can to finish it up you don't want to, you don't want to set it up right now in any kind of specific way because it doesn't really matter we still need to perform a factory reset once we finish up the setup so there we go once you're done with the setup right here you want to navigate into settings there we go settings scroll all the way down to system and select reset options erase all data erase all data and then you'll press on this button once again now i'm not gonna go over this all while recording just because it's really not very helpful once you press on this button you see a lot of uh, logo and black screen and once it's finished you'll be back in the setup screen at which point you can set up your phone however you like it will be fully unlocked at that point so go through it by adding whatever you want and yeah so that's the reason why i'm not going over the reset on camera so anyway with that being said once you press on that factory reset the bypass will be completely finished and yeah that's it so if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching